Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up so that our character can wall slide and jump off walls like Mario. This system will work with all our walls. So let's set this up. If we head over to the third person character, into some free space, I'm going to right click and look for event tick, and we're going to make it so our character can start wall sliding. However, we're only going to make it so our character can wall slide if our character is in the air. So to do that, we're going to drag in character movement, drag off this and look for it's falling. And off the return value, we will look for a branch. And if our character is in the air and it's falling, we'll try and start to wall slide if there's a wall in front of us. To check if there's a wall in front of us, we're going to look for line trace by channel. And this will be able to detect if there's a wall in front of us. When this line trace is going to start, we're going to right click and get our actor's location and plug this into the start. When this line trace is going to end, we're going to get our actor's forward vector we will drag off this and look for multiply vector by plot and our time for this by 70 and off this we will drag off and look for plus vector plus vector and plug this in so the line trace will end 70 units in front of our forward vector and i'll just plug this into end and plug this into true now if we do successfully hit a wall this return value will be true so we'll drag off this and look for branch. So if this is true, this will mean that we have currently hit a wall and we should start wall sliding. So to let the game know that we are going to wall slide, I'm going to create a new variable and call it wall slide and set it to true if this is true. And just click check and I'll copy this, control C and then control V. And if this is false, that means there's not a wall in front of us and we shouldn't wall slide. So if you go back to the start, I'm also just going to plug this into false. And if we, and if there is a wall in front of us, I'm going to start wall sliding. Then we're going to right click and set our actors rotation. We'll right click and split the structure here. As we're only be setting our actors rotation in the Z value. And we're going to set our actors rotation to be off this. We're going to look for break, hit result. Off the impact normal, we're going to look for rotation from X vector and we're going to right click on this and split structure and off the Z value, we're going to drag off this and look for plus float and look for plus 180 and plug this in. So this will just make it so that our character is facing the correct direction when he's wall sliding. Once we've set our actor's rotation, we are going to drag in our character's movement we will get his velocity. So if I look, we'll get velocity. And then we're going to slow our character's velocity down so that he slides on the wall. So I'm going to, so to do this, I'm going to right click and look for V inter to constant. So we'll get our character's current velocity and we'll slow it down to zero in the X, Y, and Z. For the interp speed, you want to make it 900. And for the delta time, you want to right click and look for get world delta seconds and plug this in here and then we're going to drag in our off our character movement and look for set velocity and plug this in here and this here so now if i click compile and if i just drag into static mesh walls and click play if I jump on a wall, my character will slide along the surface of the wall. So that when my character is wall sliding and he presses the space bar button, we're going to make it so he jumps in the opposite direction. To set this up, if we head back to the third person character, where our player's jump action is, when our player presses the jump key, if our player's wall sliding, we're going to make it so he launches himself in the opposite direction. So to do this, we'll drag off when the input action jump button is pressed and look for branch. The condition of this branch is going to be if we're wall sliding. So I'll drag in my wall slide variable and look for get wall slide and I'll bug this in. So if we press the jump key and we're not wall sliding, we're just going to do our regular jump. However, if we are wall sliding, then we're going to right click and look for get actor forward vector. We're then going to drag off this and look for multiply vector by float. And we're going to multiply it by a negative number so that we launch our character in a, the opposite direction to the wall he's facing. So I found a value of minus 300 works well. And then off this, we're going to drag and look for plus vector. 
and we want to plus it by 800. So this will just make it so that my character moves up in the air when he jumps. And then we're going to right click and look for launch character. And where we're going to launch him, we're just going to plug this in here. And we'll plug true in here. So when my player presses the jump button, if he's wall sliding, we'll launch him negative 300 and up 800 in the Z axis. So if we just click compile, we will now test this out. So I'll close this and click play. If I face my wall, press the spacebar button, he is launched in the opposite direction. If I do it for this wall, press spacebar, he is launched in the opposite direction. Now we're going to set it up so that our character does animations when he wall slides. So we just close this, head to my mannequin's animation folder, and I'm just going to briefly close Unreal and drag in this third person wall sliding animation. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download it. For the skeleton, I'll just set the U4 mannequin skeleton and just click import. And then if we head over to our character's third person animation blueprint so we can add it to our animations. And when our character jumps in the air, he does a jump start animation, then he does a jump loop animation, then he does a jump end animation. So we're going to drag in our wall slide and we're going to drag from jump loop and drag it to our third person wall slide and we'll drag from our third person wall slide to our jump loop. So when our character is in this transition, if our character is wall sliding, we'll make it so he does his wall slide animation. So if we double click inside here, in order to enter this transition, we're going to create a new variable and call it is wall sliding. I will drag it in and get it and plug this in here. If I go back and head to the opposite so that I can leave this condition, we'll double click inside here. Track in is wall sliding and look for not boolean. So when my character is not wall sliding, he'll go back to his jump loop animation. And then if we click compile, to make this all work, we need to head over to the event graph. And off the try get formula, we're going to drag off this and look for cast to the person character. We're going to right click on this and look for convert to pure cast. From our third person character, we can see if he's wall sliding. So we'll drag off this and look for get wall slide if our character is wall sliding then we will drag in the is wall sliding grab we made look for set is wall sliding and plug this in here so now our animation blueprint will know when our character is wall sliding from our third person character so now if i click on par click play and face a wall i can easily wall slide across this wall and my character starts doing his wall slide animation and this will work on any wall so that's all for now. I'd like to give a special thanks to my patron Matthew for supporting my work and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.